back to the show, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk about just a little inside of financial stuff that's happening right now. As you know, Janet Yellen just raised the interest rate quarter of a percentage point. <laughs> kind of laughable. You know, a lot of insiders who uh, are, are calling bullshit on the whole concept uh, are saying stuff like, well, this is just a show. It's just a show. You know, they're just doing it to show that the economy is in the upturn when it's really on the down. It's just all kind of uh, a concealment act where we're, we're just hiding the, the real truth, which is that we're getting ready to face a economic meltdown worldwide. It could lead to World War III. And, you know, a lot of critics are saying that that's actually what is being orchestrated, as if this is what, you know, the higher powers that be really want. I think about I think about what happened with uh, in 2008 with the financial meltdown, right? Um, and keep that in your mind because I'm, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to I'm just going to go into uh, kind of how the banking system works and how bad it is and and why we should be worried about it. Okay, look at look at the banking system. What 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 happens with the banks, right? So the banks. They loan money. So let's talk about countries that are small countries that are, you know, on the verge of bankruptcy, right? So what they do is they include these banks, right? So small countries. They, they take banks' money, right, at insanely high interest rates. The interest rates are uh, so high that the banks know, the banks know very well that there's no way this, these struggling countries or these, these states or whatever could ever pay back the money. And that's why they lend the money in the first place. Because when the country can't pay back its debts, what happens? Well, the banks move in and start collecting land. They start collecting the country. They have complete and utter control over the entire country because, hey, they've, they've, they've locked down the wrists of the uh, of the state or of the of the the country just speculate on the whole concept of what happens when that happens when they foreclose when the country when the whole fucking country forecloses on a uh, you know on a deal of these magnitudes when the, when you're talking about hundreds of billions maybe even trillions of dollars worth of money that um that the state is is you know out of and there's no way to pay back this stuff there's no there's just no way to do it well, that's when the banks come in and start collecting shit. They collect whatever they want. It's part of the deal. It's part of the way it's structured and it's and it's fabricated that way. The thing that's really bad is that the, the banks orchestrate it from the beginning. So they make it hard for the countries to even have money to begin with. Then when they obviously, when they've created this struggle, when they've created a, a problem for the country... Um, whether they, they, they lock off resources, whether they um, create droughts, whether they create famine, whatever they do, where it puts the people of that country to say, our, our leaders need to step in and do something, whatever it is. Like, look at Greece. Greece is a perfect example because that's exactly what happened. And, um, you know, the, the, the leaders of Greece are trying to not, they were trying to not take any, any money because they knew what was going to happen. And the people didn't care. The people were starving. The people didn't have money in their banks anymore. The people, you know, it, it was just a huge, a huge crisis because of it. Meanwhile, the banksters, we'll call them, uh, the, the gangster banksters, they uh, say, well, you know what? We can fabricate, we can fabricate the demise of Greece and um, we can take it over. All we have to do is create all these these really fucked up situations for the people. After a while, the people will demand action from their leaders, and the leaders will have no other choice but to uh, to submit. They're gonna have to take our money, and the second they take our money, in a few years or less, they're gonna be bankrupt again. And this time, they're not gonna be able to pay off the debts that we've given them. And so when that happens, guess what? We come in and take it over. That's how it works. That is exactly what happens everywhere around the world. In some degrees, it's already it's happened in in America. It's happened in all the great uh, the great nation states of the world. It's already been compromised. I mean, just think about it, where the money goes. It's all been compromised. The people that have the money have the power. They write the laws. They make the fucking the history books. They're the ones that are in charge of everything. 
And if you don't think so, then you need to slap yourself in the face, pour some coffee on your head, and wake the fuck up. Because that's, that's truly what it is. Put this together with uh, the financial collapse in America and pretty much worldwide in 2008. It was a manufactured crisis that we created. So the banks, the banks created this this huge, huge problem where they um, they they made it look like the country was in its best financial standing. So they were giving away mortgages. They were like at at interest rates that were at epic lows. And what they did by doing this was they flooded the market with this low, low interest. So everybody is buying fucking houses. Some people were buying two and three houses and 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 over overextending themselves into car loans as well. I mean, and and you know, boats and all kinds of other shit. You know, here we go. We're we're at the top of our game here. I can afford three mortgages. I got four cars in the garage. I got a boat. Yo, I got a motherfucking boat, son. I've got my flippy floppies and shit. You know, like this is this is what what happened. Every mortgage was like a bundle of kindling for this brand new fire that we're about to light. And all the while, you know, we just keep, they they just keep lending and lending and lending. The banks are saying, all right, listen, we're, we have a certain agenda, so just keep lending. Even the lenders are like, we can do this? We can keep doing, oh yeah, well, you know what? I'm not going to ask because I'm making commission. I'm I'm doing good as a mortgage guy, you know. I'm I, you know I'm working in the mortgage field and I'm making shit ton of money, you know. Everybody's making money. We're just fucking. Where's this money coming from? Who fucking knows? But guess what? We're just gonna keep spending it because that's how it works, right? If I have money, I'm gonna spend it, right? If you have money, spend it. Let's get a fucking house, you know. Let's let's buy a fucking neighborhood. Who the fuck knows? Well, fast forward to when all of a sudden the <laughs> the fo- the bottom just goes. And then everything funnels down it. Boom. Okay, so now we have a real big fucking worldwide problem, right? We need bankers to be bailed out and all kinds of shit. So um, so certain places close. Other places are, you know, are on the brink of close. And there's a few, there's a few entities that are making a fucking fortune. It's one of the biggest, the biggest transfers of money uh, ever ever and it's all hidden under this guise of um we need these uh we need these bailouts i mean look at what obama did you know one of the first things he did was do the fucking bailout which was i mean still to this day it's probably one of his worst his worst most treacherous things that he's ever done is bailed out these fucking banks that created the problem that we're still living through uh eight eight nine years later we still have to deal with this shit thanks to obama he set that shit up I mean, let's not even get into all the other crap that fucking Obama has done. Uh, I'm not a very big supporter of Obama in any way because I know what he's doing. You know, the, the, he, he speaks for the lobbyists. The money is what created Obama, and now we have to fucking deal with that agenda. I mean, he's the perfect figure piece. He does everything that the lobbyists want. You know, the banks say, you know what, well, we gave you, we, get, we, we put you in power, we put you into this uh, into this position, so now you owe us. So you know you're gonna bail us out. That's the way it is. And um, you know, look at the look at what Big Pharma has done right now with the creation of Obamacare. Okay, here's what's wrong with Obamacare. Um, Obamacare is is for pharma. It's for uh, the medical pharma industry, which is ridiculous in its in its own right. But think about it. Now now all those big pharmacy companies. Uh, they don't have to uh, worry about whether they're going to collect money or not because thanks to Obamacare, anybody that buys any drugs from them, is go- it's, even if they don't have to pay for it, the Obamacare pays for it because you're paying into it, right? So everybody's covered, but you're not really covered. If you look at this, the stipulations between o- Obamacare, I mean, you have deductibles of 5000 6500 even I've seen an $8,000 deductible. What the fuck? I mean... Something catastrophic has to happen for you to ever hit that deductible, unless you're just, you know, un- unless you're just uh, dealing with a shit ton of drugs. I mean, think about it, uh, chemotherapy. So for six months of chemotherapy, you're looking at you can look at upwards of quarter of a million to half a million dollars in in fees. And chemotherapy, I'm sorry, uh, a bag of chemotherapy can cost upwards of fifteen thousand dollars. That's just one fucking IV bag could cost that much money. 
which is ridiculous. But people pay it because, guess what? They're dying otherwise, right? And that's the only cure that they know of. So this is where the, the society is really fucked up, is that um, Big Pharma is allowed to charge upwards of $15,000 for one fucking, one bag, when it literally costs them $150 a max to make that whole supply that you're going to use. Uh, and and it's just it's just gouging at its maximum. It's gouging at its most ridiculous. And this is the kind of this is the kind of world we live in. So Obamacare, yeah, Obamacare is um, just like dr- like their um, their their uh, fight against uh, guns. You know, they're trying to reduce guns, right? Uh, Obama administration is trying to get rid of guns, right? There's a nef- nefarious plot behind that, by the way. It's to de-arm Americans so that when they call martial law and then they have complete control over the states, that's what's really going to happen. But Instead, what we do is we focus on these San Bernardino shootings, and then, you know, like, they, they went to a special needs place and shot that fucking shit up, right? So, of course, America's like, oh my god, this is getting ridiculous, I'm so fucking scared, and now they're killing retards! Sorry, they're not retards, but that's the whole kind of concept. People are saying, you know, oh my god, these people, oh my god, these people are so, you know, special needs, how could they stoop so low? I mean... This is the end. This is the end. ISIS is everywhere, which ISIS is created by the Obama administration as well. So all of this shit is manufactured. Obama's got a huge piece in it, and he needs to be in, impeached, by the way. We need to impeach Obama today, although it won't, it won't matter because by the time the impeachment process is over, we'll already have uh, uh, Clinton in the office, So, which is another story. And, and this is all encompassing, but unfortunately, this is the way it is. It's pretty sad. Um, but it's all together. It's all it's all related. It's all together. So, okay. So why you know what's what's happening now? So what you need to do, people, is you need to understand the whole under. You have to understand why the interest rate has been at zero and why it's not going anywhere. In fact, and if it goes negative, it's going to be really bad for all of American civilians. Okay. Now, please, please go home or check this out right away. Understand why the interest rate being at the way it is is really bad for our, for everybody why are we about to hit world war 3 with with uh, russia and why why are the oil um, prices so damn low and if they're so low why are we not paying like 50 cents a gallon at the pump that's another question that we should be uh wor- wondering about as well we should understand what happens when martial law is called into effect we have to know this kind of stuff up front so that we can make a better informed decision and turn the fucking CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, turn off that mainstream media right now because you're not doing yourself any favors. You're just listening to more brainwashing. Everything is brainwashed. Everything is brainwashed. It's, it's the media, the TV itself is the best form of propaganda. And if you don't believe it, you're, you're well in doctrine. You're, you're lost in the sauce, so to speak. So Turn your TVs off, do some research, understand why, the, why the, uh, the interest rate being where it is and why it's there, why this negatively impacts us, why gun control is so bad for this country as well. Um, you know, guns don't kill people. People kill people. I mean, if you want to have that same mentality, okay, there was a 12-car pileup. Well, all these cars are to blame. We got to stop having cars. We got to remove cars from our, our from our day to day lives, you know. So we can only have what we're gonna have teleportation devices to get us back and forth, right? And then when the teleportation devices start going wrong, and then it's the tele, you know. Uh, this is the thing: you can't just keep hiding shit under the rug. Just keep putting stuff under the rug like it's like it's gonna like it's gonna fix the situation. I mean, I'm not anti-government. I'm anti the people that are corrupted with the power of government. That's what I am not a, not for. Like guys like Obama, they're unchecked. Nobody's crying for his head. Nobody's crying for him to be impeached and and that's the real problem. I mean, he's 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 changing our mentality saying, "You know what? I'm not the issue. Uh America, uh I'm not the problem. I'm uh, uh I, I'm not your enemy. Uh it's it's uh the oil and 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 uh and 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 Putin and 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 ISIL and 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 guns and 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 I mean come on come on he's he's just basically doing the magician's sleight of hand 
What am I doing here as I remove your wallet here? What am I doing here with my face, you know? I mean, this is what we have to worry about, people. We have to think about this kind of stuff critically. It's time to wake up. Please, please do your homework. Start researching. Start understanding about this world. Stop looking at what Regis and Kathleen are doing, or, 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 or Kathy and, and Michael, or whatever, or, or, or The View, or fucking Dr. Whatever's douche faces. All I'm saying is, is, you know, you have to have some responsibility in this too, guys. You have to. You have to take responsibility for what's going on, because... Just by putting your head in the sand, you are responsible for anything that happens outside because you're putting your, you're saying, you know what, I don't want to deal with this. So I'm going to put my head in the sand and when people are dying around me, things are hitting the, the shit's hitting the fan and I, I'm, I'm not doing anything with my, with my life or my body to help in any way to, to, to try and offset the crap that's happening. But when we have martial law and we have World War III and bombs start dropping and shit just hits the fan, and all of this shit is exposed, like geoengineering and the chemtrails and all that stuff, all this crazy conspiracy stuff. When all of that comes to light and you're just like hit in the face with all, boosh, all of this stuff all at once, you're going to be fucking shitting your pants, crying to everybody, and no one's going to listen. It's going to be too fucking late. So please, do your homework now. Start fucking understanding this shit. Start sharing the interest. Um, you know, have the conversation with people. It's going to be hard at first, but you got to get the ball rolling, just like I'm doing right now. Love and liberation to all, and we will see you real soon. Thanks for watching.